Hi everyone. We are Success U University. We are Team Bronco and we hope that you like our future presentation on our future university. For the name of our university, we chose to call it Success University. Here in the year 2080, our current board of directors include Edwina Wallen, Heather Peterson, Grace Ferry, Mohammed Alotabi, Malala Yousafi, and John Jax Rousseau. Our university has several values that we focus our education system on. We want to make sure that everybody has the opportunity for an equal education system, no matter their race, gender, religion, or any other factor. You all should be able to be prepared for the future you want in your life. We focus on what's known as Minan's Theorem or Education, which focuses on specialized training for future vocation or career, because you shouldn't have to go into a new field not feeling prepared or that you don't have all the tools needed. We also value equal learning opportunity where different learning styles are incorporated to give everyone the best chance at success. Say goodbye to the classes that only do lecture-based learning. You will have the opportunity to have more hands on learning, be involved in the discussions yourself, and in general, interact more with your education. Additionally, we value bringing your interest and passion into the learning experience again. We recognize that this is what will help you enjoy your educational experience and succeed more if you have a passion for what you are studying and we encourage what makes you unique. We hope you enjoy your time with us. Here's some of the influences that help us mold this university for you. Malala Yousafzai had a huge but positive impact on our university. Our curriculum and our values help form forward thinking, curiosity, and passion in our students who are preparing for their future vocation. Yousaf Zai's passion for human and women's rights is something we value very highly here. Yousaf Zai's goal of equal education for everyone is something we really want to incorporate in our curriculum. We have many volunteer opportunities and they help students around the world get a great education just like students at our university. Our university aims to widen the perspective of our students and give them a worldly point of view. A peer-reviewed journal that I read called Combining Chemical Information, Literacy, Communication Skills, Career Preparation, Ethics, and Peer Review in a Team Taught Chemistry course was written by Paul G. Sabold and Mary Lou Baker Jones. It emphasizes the need for career preparation, which is Menen's third theory, in the university's undergraduate classes. A good quote that I think our university believes in strongly is, we believe that it addresses students' needs to improve their chemical information literacy skills, gives them an awareness of professional ethics, encourages them to think seriously and broadly about their career preparation and choices, and gives them opportunities to practice and improve their very ne necessary scientific communication skills. The first peer review article I read is called Young People's Entry into Higher Education, Quantifying Influential Factors. This was written by Vernon Gale et al. This article addresses the action of making higher education more accessible to those of lower income families and those of certain ethnic backgrounds. This article is relevant to Menon's third theory because the factors stated do contribute to whether a high school graduate determines whether or not they attend higher education. A quote that I liked from the article that I thought related to Menon's theory is, the literature on access to higher education sends the message that there is social inequality. The second peer-reviewed article I read is called Parental Level of Education, Associations with Psychological Well-Being, Academic Achievement, and Reasons for Pursuing Higher Education in Adolescence. This was written by Melissa Schlechter and Avedon Mile Milevsky. This article discusses how the parental level of education can influence a child on whether or not they want to pursue higher education. 
This article is relevant to Menon's third theory because this expectation from a parental figure for their child to receive higher education plays a huge role in whether they decide to attend higher education or not. A quote that I found from the article that related to Menon's third theory is, The adolescent's reasons for pursuing higher education are a result of modeling learned from parent characteristics, such as parental level of education, the importance given to educational standards in the home, and values passed on to the adolescent. In our university, we recognize how so many students struggle with current popular educational style like lecture-based classrooms. We recognize that this makes it hard to stay engaged with the subject, possibly feel bored, and not utilize the tools that the class is supposed to teach enough to feel comfortable with utilizing those information and tools once you graduate. Nick Hudgens mentions in a portion of a book called Literature as a Learning Tool, a Lesson Plan, that within the late 20th century, there has been an increase on the emphasis placed on educators and an administrator to spend more time preparing for the yearly standardized exam. Furthermore, he recognizes that in order to succeed in college and their professional fields, all students need to be able to express their thoughts and feelings in a critical manner. We realized that the current problem is that with only standardized exams being the primary focus, teachers do too much lecture style learning, which results in a lack of engagement between professors and classmates in the classroom. Another motivation for what we valued actually came from Jean Jacques Rizzo, who addresses a lot of his feeling in a work called Emil. In it, he stated that the more children or learners can do for themselves, the less help they need from other people. This encourages mastery education. This is another reason we are so focused on making sure that you feel comfortable utilizing what we are teaching on your own. We need you to be able to need as little help as possible as you move forward right out of college. The more hands-on we allow you to be with the courses, the more knowledge you will have on the topics you are learning, and the less you will need to be reminded of the knowledge or worse. That again. We hope you enjoy being able to pursue all the interests you have in the world while we accommodate a variety of learning styles to ensure you are able to learn it more effectively. 60% of students entering college find themselves academically unprepared for the university environment. This can be a major stressor for new students and cause them to be discouraged and sometimes to drop out. Here at Success U, we have our GAP program to assist those students who need that extra help with their studies so no student finds themselves falling behind or underprepared for the curriculum. Let us be the ones to provide that education for you with an individually tailored curriculum developed to enhance your individual aptitudes and interests. We can ensure your success in the path you choose.